Hi everyone. Today I'm going to make another quick card. Um, and it's based off of this paper that I've had for quite some time with these uh, images on them. Uh, I thought it was beautiful and I had it for a long time, just don't didn't know how to use it. So uh, today I think I have the idea for a card. So I was playing around with it, going through my papers and my scraps uh, <laughs> that I've just organized. And I uh, found this color palette. Green craft, this what pinkish something, and blue. So, first thing that I'm gonna do is take a. Oh, things are falling right beside me here. There we go. Uh, take a um, uh, what is called square punch and punch out this little. Uh, this image. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it diagonally because uh, I just thought that might look interesting. There we go. And that's my vocal image. That I'm gonna mat onto this piece of green that's also gonna be the card base. So I am gonna take my ATG gun or just any adhesive adhere it down into this corner to give it just a very very thin slight matting then I'm going to take craft knife and a roller and cut around it. There we go. And it's matted. I hope you can see that. Then I'm gonna make my card and I'm just gonna make it a um, eight and a half Take an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, uh, cut it in half, and score it. And I want to open the long way. That's gonna go on there. Right now it's kind of blurry, but it won't keep on being that. I'm gonna trim the craft cardstock to um, be on the inside and be a quarter of an inch on all sides. So, I'm going to be cutting the craft card stock at three and three quarters by five. And this will go on here, and that's where that's going to be. I'm going to put some. So what I just decided was that I want another piece of paper in the back because I think it kind of blends the craft and the grain so I'm going to do this and make a mat outside of the craft and put that down, put this down, make a mat around this as well. Just to keep the colors consistent and to really pop this up. There we go. So far, so good. Then I'm just going to trim this uh, pink piece of paper a little bit down. I don't want it to be that um, thick. Just trimming it down just, just a bit. I'm going to attach that on here. I have a piece of ribbon in a very dark blue with a red stitch which is gonna go on here. Um, so actually what I want to do is take my Scalabitch uh, punch and make a Scalabitch on it. It should fit the card perfectly. 
I'm going to put this ribbon on here so it just fits nicely. I like to put a little bit, little strip of um, adhesive down just to keep the ribbon in place, but that you don't have to do that, basically. So let's start assembling it by first the brown mat. There, what I'm also going to use is this little piece of the strip here that um, was left over from when I was punching the scallop. Just using my sick two way glue pen just to add a tiny bit of interest. Then I have a little bit of embellishment. I have found this green flower here that I'm going to put on using a, a glue dot. We're using a couple actually. Put that down here. Also, I have a bit of bling, three of those, and some adhesive. Just a tiny dab and put that now we go that's the card pretty simple um, opens like this so that's my uh, card for today uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye